topic of this video is UN as an external direct product. Uh, you all know that UN is a group of elements of Zn which possess multiplicative inverse in Zn and Zn is an additive group so there is no question to search for the elements which possess multiplicative inverse though few elements of Zn still possess multiplicative inverse and let those elements be denoted by M and if we collect all those elements and put them inside a single set then that set is a group in itself and the operation is multiplication modulo n and this is a subgroup of un uh, it is u k n k is written in the subscript uh, it is a set of elements of uh, un which when divided by k gives you remainder one and this is a mathematical equation which represents this scenario uh, x equal to one mod k for example, you uh, take U24, which is the group of units inside Z24, that is the elements which possess multiplicative inverses inside Z24. And uh, these uh, elements are 8 in number and that can be verified by finding the order of U24, which uses this Euler function. And it has few properties. and uh, you split this 24 as prime factors then phi of 2 cube multiplied with phi 3 and it is uh, distributive and phi to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 3 minus 2 square and finally it gives you 8 so it indicates that u24 will be having 8 elements and these are uh, two subgroups of u24 one is the u324 and the four elements which satisfy the equation x equal to 1 mod 3 and those elements of u24 which satisfy this equation you can see that only 1 7 13 and 19 satisfy this mod equation similarly u24 will be equal to uh, 1 comma 17 since they satisfy the equation x equal to 1 mod 8 so these two are subgroups of u24 and if you write the elements of u8 those will be the elements uh, in zn which possess multiplicative inverse and those are 1 3 5 7 similarly u3 will be having only two elements 1 and 2 so there is an observation that if you do the direct product of u8 and u3 so that will be a group of ordered pairs where the first element comes from u8 and the second element comes from u3 so there will be eight elements inside this direct product group and it indicates that there is an isomorphism of this uh, direct product group with the group u24 because as you saw in the last slide u24 was also having exactly eight elements uh, not just by having equal number of elements uh, two groups are said to be isomorphic and there should be a 1-1 one, one onto map between them. Uh, for example, here the map is uh, x is the element of u24 which maps to the tuple x mod 8 comma x mod 3. So this is just the remainder when x is divided by 8 and this is uh, the remainder when x is divided by 3. So indeed this map is 1-1 one, one and onto. You can verify this. Hence, uh, you can say that U24 is isomorphic to the direct product of U8 uh, and U3, where the isomorphism law is this one. If you want to generalize this, you can say that if N is a composite number which can be expressed as a product of M and K, such that GCD of M and K is equal to 1, this is very important, the GCD should be equal to 1. Then UN can be expressed as UM direct product UK and the rule of uh, isomorphism is uh, um, there. And uh, if you write the subgroup of U8, the U24, that is U324, that is isomorphic to U8 using this uh, 1 1 on 2 map. Similarly, uh, u824 is isomorphic to u3 by this 1 1 on 2 map so it, it appears that uh, if you have u subscript k m k then this k and k cancel out and you will have u m and to do problems related to group of units and its subgroups uh, you need a few remarks at your hand the first one is the group of 
units inside Z2 that is denoted by U2 is isomorphic to the trivial group that is a group containing the identity element. Second remark is that U4 uh, that is U2 square is isomorphic to Z2 uh, because U4 has only two elements 1 and 3 and any group having only two elements will be cyclic because 2 is a prime number and uh, if a group is cyclic and is of order 2 then it has to be isomorphic with Z2. Extending this remark you have, you have u to the power n where n is greater than or equal to 3 and u to u of 2n is always isomorphic to the direct product of u2 and u to the power n minus 2. For n equal to 3 uh, if you want to verify this uh, you just want to put n equal to 3 in this uh, so u8 will be the group having these four elements which are actually co prime to 8 1 3 5 and 7 and you can claim that this group is a non cyclic group because uh, all of the all the elements of u8 except the identity element have order equal to 2 and you know that for a group g to be cyclic uh, at least one element of g must have uh, the order which should be the equal to the order of the group g itself since there is no element in u8 of order equal to 4, 4 you can say that this u8 is non cyclic <coughs> And any group of order 4 is uh, isomorphic to either Z4 or Z2 cross Z2 uh, but the correct choice uh, can be decided after checking the property of cyclicity of group. Since you already checked that U U8 is non-cyclic so there is no question that uh, this group can be isomorphic to Z4 so this leaves the only choice Z2 product Z2 right. Hence, uh, Fourth remark is u p to the power n is isomorphic to z p n minus z p n minus 1 and whenever p is an odd prime number right and the last remark is uh, for any number n which is composite number which can be expressed as a product of uh, these k numbers such that gcd of any two numbers is equal to 1 then you can always give an isomorphism between u n and the external direct product of u n i's. These remarks will be useful in solving problems related to the group of units and isomorphisms. Now comes problem number one. Find the largest order of an element in U900. U900 is a group of units inside the additive group Z900. So if you want to factorize this 900, the factors will be 3 square times 5 square times 2 square. And then using uh, one of the remark above, you can always write it as u3 square product u5 square and product u2 square and again uh, based on the remarks we just uh, did u3 square will be u9 and u9 will be isomorphic to z6 similarly u25 will be isomorphic to z20 and u4 will be isomorphic to z2 so eventually the group of units is reduced to the direct product of uh, group z since it is always good to study the group of uh, Zn which are always considered to be the easiest groups in group theory. So we will comment about the group present in the right hand side and the answer relates to the group present in the left hand side itself. Now <clears throat> an element of uh, this group will be of the form ABC since it should be a three tuple element. And if you want to maximize the LCM of ABC uh, you need to maximize the LCM of the individual orders of A, B and C inside Z6, Z20 and Z2. So using this uh, result for the order of an element inside the direct product group, you see that the maximum order of A can be 6, maximum order of B can be 20, maximum order of C can be 2. So that their LCM comes out to be 60. So this is the largest order of an element inside U900. This problem used the isomorphism between the group of units and the external direct product of Zn and using that isomorphism we finally concluded to the correct answer. Now problem number 2. Let P and Q be odd primes and let M and N be positive integers. So we have explained why U of P to the power M product U Q to the power N is not a cyclic group. And uh, solve this problem you just start with that group given in question and using one of the above remark you 
write this is isomorphic to ZPM minus PM minus 1 product ZQN minus QN minus 1. Note that these suffixes of Z plays very important role in deciding whether the group is cyclic or not. Right? So if you pick up the first suffix and you take P to the power M minus 1 common, then you will be left with PA minus 1 inside the bracket. And you know that P is an odd prime number, so P minus 1 will be an even number. And when an even number is multiplied with any number, then the result is always an even number. So it claims that this number, this number is an even number. Similarly, Q to the power N minus Q to the power N minus 1 is also an even number. Now comes the decisive step where you will check that GCD of these two suffixes is 1 or not. If the GCD is 1, then the group is cyclic. And if the GCD is not equal to 1, then the group is non-cyclic. So of course, the GCD of these two numbers cannot be equal to 1. Since this and this, both of these numbers are even numbers, so their LCM, their GCD, sorry, their GCD is at least 2. It cannot be equal to 1. So it proves that this group is not cyclic and if the group present in the right hand side is not cyclic, hence the group in question cannot be cyclic. So this question again uses the isomorphism rules and uh, the remarks as we discussed earlier. Thank you.